Hi folks, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Please do hit subscribe if you haven't done so yet. It really does help when you do that. So today folks, a slightly different video from the sort of thing I would usually do. This is a guitar you won't have seen on the channel for a good while. This started life back in 2003. I bought it new when I was 13. This started life as a black Mexican Telecaster and it had a thick black poly lacquer on it, which I always hated. So eventually I chipped all the lacquer off, sanded it back. Then I had a veneer on the top of it and then I painted it green. And eventually I decided to turn it into an Esquire and paint it butterscotch. Although to be honest, it looks a bit more like a banana. Anyway, this has always been a kind of secondary guitar in my collection. I would tend to use a normal sort of Blackguard style telly, and it was only really if I was recording a song and wanted a double track with a slightly different telly voice to kind of set it apart from the main recording that I would use this guitar. So it was always being sort of gathering dust a little bit. Anyway, a pickup showed up on eBay a couple of weeks ago and I couldn't resist jumping on it. Because as regulars to this channel will know, this is probably my favorite guitar I own. It's certainly in the top two. This is my Ron Kern Barn Buster, made out of a 200 year old piece of pine. And when I bought this guitar, I loved it instantly. But when I put these pickups in, it just took this guitar to another level. And these are the Don Mayer Hot Bakelites. Now, Don is known as being one of, if not the kind of most highly respected winder of certainly Teddy style pickups. He does strats as well. And those pickups in that guitar, it's just the perfect Tele sound, to my ears at least. I absolutely adore that guitar now with those pickups in. So when another Don Mayer pickup showed up on eBay, I couldn't resist jumping on it. Now, this is a slightly different sort of idea than the Hot Baker Light pickups because there is a guitarist that Don is a huge fan of, a telly player called Roy Buchanan. And Roy always had a very interesting and unique telly sound from the guitar that he nicknamed Nancy. So this particular pickup is the 2324, which is a serial number of Roy's guitar, I think. And it's called The Real Nancy because it's going after that Roy Buchanan sound. And Roy's sound was always quite thin and actually quite piercing, but not in a bad way. It was just a little bit different to what you would expect from a sort of classic Blackguard telly. And eventually Don actually got his hands on the Nancy guitar and did some sort of readings and took the guitar apart and actually sort of like looked at what was going on under the hood. And what he found, and I'm, I'm probably going to get these details ever so slightly wrong, I'm not an expert in this like Don is, the pickup was actually broken. It was actually shorting out somewhere inside the coil around the bridge magnet, and it wouldn't actually read on a sort of ohm meter. It wasn't giving a DC resistance reading at all, yet it still kind of worked. So Don figured out what was going on in that guitar, and he set about trying to recreate that sound with one of his own pickups. Now, Don is kind of slightly winding down production. He's not currently taking new orders for pickups and he stopped making Nancy style pickups a few years ago because the man hours involved in actually doing them was just too extreme to be economic. But this dates from 2011. So it's sort of back when he was still kind of taking orders and winding these pickups. And this is a slightly different version of the Nancy pickup to what you most commonly see if you find any online, because this is a two tap pickup. And basically what that means is it has two hot wires coming out of it. The first is the full fat kind of 6K Blackguard DC resistance. But the other tap is a kind of slightly lower 4K DC resistance. So it's kind of like two thirds of the coil is being used and it's tapped two thirds around the wind. And what that does is it gives you that kind of lower DC resistance that Roy's guitar would be kind of giving if it was actually reading on a resistance meter. But I was emailing with Don and he suggested a wiring mod for this pickup that might actually get even closer to the Nancy sound. And what that was, was using the full 6K tap, but using a high pass capacitor, a bit like old Rickenbackers would, to kind of filter off all the low end. So that got the cogs whirring, because of course I've got one pickup and a three-way switch. So what I've done is, in the back position, you have just the full fat 6K Blackguard pickup. In the middle position, you have the 6K tap, but with that high pass capacitor. And in the forward position is the 4K tap for the kind of Nancy sound. So you've got classic Blackguard and then two different variations of the Nancy sound, depending on your 
preferences and what you think the Nancy sound should be. So I've got three very distinct classic telly sounds in this guitar from one pickup and one switch. So what I'm going to do today, folks, is two things. Firstly, I'm going to show you how this pickup sounds in all three settings into my Dr. Z Z Master, because I think the amp Roy used to use was a Fender Vibrolux, and this is about as close as I have to that style of amplifier. And I'm going to show it clean, or the edge of breakup at least, and cranked, because Roy used to crank his amp and control everything from the guitar's volume control. So I'll show you both of those amp settings with the pickup with all three settings and we can see which we think at the end sounds closest to that Nancy sound but also as a kind of bonus part at the end of the video and this is I'll be honest it's just my own curiosity I'm going to compare the Nancy pickup in its full kind of 6k reading to the hot Bakelite bridge pickup to see how different or similar the Esquire sounds to this Ron Kern barn buster. I've got an idea in my head of what the similarities and differences might be, but I've never actually tested it and played them side by side. So it'll be interesting to see how these two pickups from this legendary pickup winder compare. So very long intro folks, but without further ado, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
folks now please do comment underneath let me know what you thought of the tones from this guitar today i love chatting nerdy guitar stuff with you folks down in the comments section now i think there's two ways of looking at the three settings with this one pickup in this esquire the first is which sounds more like a classic telecaster but the other is which of those two settings the high pass and the 4k tap sound closest to the kind of trebly nasally roy buchanan thing so first and foremost, I think this sounds, with the sort of full 6K tap in the back position, just like a classic Blackguard telly. And it was interesting comparing it to the Ron Kern at the end, because it was actually a little bit different than I was expecting. The Ron Kern to me sounded a little bit brighter, and the Nancy pickup sounded a little bit quieter, or sort of lower in resistance, a little bit lower output. Now, the Nancy pickup is actually slightly higher and closer to the strings than the Hot Bakelite, but the Hot Bakelite guitar has VI pots in, which are 280k, they're slightly overvalued. This has standard 250k pots in currently. So some of the extra kind of zing on the top end of the Ron Kern may have been coming from the pots. And of course, the Ron Kern has an ashtray bridge. This has a sort of Goto six saddle bridge. So there are differences between the guitars, of course. I just wanted to see whether they were ballpark, which they absolutely are. So this, running flat out is just a beautiful sounding blackguard type pickup but that then takes us to the two kind of nancy settings 
And the 4K tap to me sounds, as you kind of would expect, like a quieter but sweeter version of the 6K tap. It's the same sound, just a little bit more dynamic, a little bit sort of sweeter on the top end, and a little bit kind of less sort of, I don't want to say bloated, but a little thinner in the sort of lower mid range. But of course, the high pass position in the middle is the full 6K tap with the low end filtered out. And to my ears, and I'm no expert in Roy Buchanan's tone whatsoever, that sounded closer to the Roy sound than the 4K tap, because it's it leaves just the kind of piercing treble frequencies and everything else is taken away. Whereas the 4K tap is still fairly full frequency, it's just a little bit quieter. So for my money, the full 6K pickup with that high pass capacitor gets closest to the Roy Buchanan sound. And it put me in mind of that Rory Gallagher type thing. It's a little bit like a treble booster was on. Just the sort of upper mid frequencies were there and everything else was kind of filtered out. It definitely put me in mind of that. So I think the high pass capacitor is the key to getting the Nancy sound out of a Don Mayer, the real Nancy pickup. But as I said, folks, I'm no expert in Roy's tone, so please do comment underneath and let me know which setting you thought got closer to the Nancy sound. I'd love to hear from you guys on this and kind of learn from the comments section as well. So there we are, folks, a slightly different video chasing after somebody's specific sound from history. But um, I'm just very, very impressed by this pickup. And if you ever see a Don Mayer pickup secondhand, jump on it because they are absolutely sublime. So thank you for watching, folks. I hope this video was interesting and useful for you. Please do carry on subscribing. I know I always say it, but it makes a big difference when you hit subscribe. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.